Uh, well, I did it, guys. Uh, finally done editing the Madden review. This may be the longest review I've ever done. It's either between this or Battlefield. Uh, this, one almost, <laughs> this one almost killed me. Guys, if you really like these epic rants that last an hour or more, uh, please consider uh, contributing to us on Patreon and keeping us going because I'm sure this is going to get demonetized just like the Battlefield one got because there was so much profanity in it. Uh, we really appreciate your help. This is what forms the backbone, the mobile infantry, and allows uh, me to just go ham on it uh so i want to thank you guys for considering our patreon links down in the description below i want to thank g fuel for definitely helping us get through this i got a 20 percent off code down below you can grab a flavor St our flavor still not in stock it's probably going to take months if not into the next year uh but i thank you so much uh you know just use our code and we get credit for it thank you uh, I hope you guys enjoy. Here's the thing. Everybody already knows, right? You already know. But it's going to be fun, and I will show you exactly why. Okay? Check it out. Seven billion dollars. Seven billion dollars is how much Madden has made up to the point of 2021. Ready. I think we're ready. <laughs> we try to get, we try to stock up on what we're gonna need. Namaste, namaste, Madden. Namaste, Madden. Namaste. It's gonna be the same thing. Everyone's gonna be like, oh, this is the best man ever. <laughs> yeah, I swear to God. I think people have finally caught up. I think even the most casual Madden buyers have learned Madden sucks. You can see that the Cleveland Browns just put this player on their back in the end zone. He falls there, lays down, there's no animation to play, and the players come in and just kind of celebrate around him. This has to be fixed, but this to me shows more than anything else they're not testing this game enough. Because if they were, they would say, wait a second, we've got a, a dance animation that's not triggering, the player's just laying there. Every year. And at this point, they already know what I'm about to tell you in detail. I mean, take a look at the reviews for Madden 24. They're shockingly low this year. What would get 1 million or 800,000 or even half a million views is getting what? 100,000 views? What? Madden 24! Josh Allen on the cover! Load the wagon! This is like Christmas for me, boys! What else could explain this phenomenon? Because everyone already knows that this is a trash product that is recycled with the same old shit every year! People are fed up. Claim your play pro dish. What the fuck?! I already bought the game! And now the first thing that you see when you press start is, you got the game? Well, you didn't get the game. <laughs> you need to get the game. <laughs> what the fuck is this? Every fucking time you fire up the fucking game, it's a fucking advertisement for Ultimate Team. I already spent my money. Not enough. You need to pay us more money. The very first screen is more money, Joe. But the sycophants and the diehards are still apparently buying it up every year. A drug addiction. Time! Fuck me, EA. Fuck me, EA. Madden 24. An abusive relationship that they literally cannot quit. I haven't seen a single overall on anybody, and I'm kind of excited. Our first pack. Good. Low key, I'm sad to see training come back. I think the whole idea of upgrading players and having to pay to put abilities on them is total, is fucking horseshit. Plus, that whole system's clunky and slow, but whatever. We got an 84 plus. I think the whole idea of upgrading players and having to pay to put abilities on them is total, is fucking horseshit. And having to pay to put abilities on them is total, is fucking horseshit. But whatever. 
We got an 84 plus. And it's 84 on the dot. Just take the plus away. If you're gonna bend me over, at least give me a glass of wine first. Maybe take me out to dinner. Cause I like to be wined and dined before you fuck me, EA. Can they be reached? No. Not when they have an ecosystem that encourages their bullshit and their addiction. Uno mas. Por favor. Whoa. What the fuck is that? What is that? Oh! Oh! It's back! Yes! Bro, let me tell y'all something. If any of you didn't play Madden 23, there's two tiers of animation. There's the small animation, and there's the big animation. For certain promos, if you get the best player possible, like in 87, Jeremiah Owusu Moa, like I just did, you get a different animation. And it's so fucking lit. Let's go! Madden comes up with some marketing bullshit like Sapien technology. Madden 24's new character skeleton, Sapien, has been completely rebuilt from the ground up, resulting in more realistic animations that better simulate athletic performance. Sapien also unlocks our ability to respond to community feedback, like adding referees back to the field, and it's optimized for both male and female characters. Or Field Sense 2.0, and IGN gobbles it up! Combine all this with the redone skeletons and models that look like they've stepped off the gridiron and onto your TV screen, and Madden NFL 24 is easily the best looking and best animated the series has ever been. Josh Allen, which by the way, it's so funny that Josh Allen is the, the cover guy, because you remember one of his tweets was like, I don't even like Madden, I don't care if I'm knocking Madden, I... I prefer to play NFL 2K5. He was one of us, guys. Josh Allen was one of us. But Madden must have dro drove up pay here with me, a dump yeah. truck. Pay me what they paid him. Be dump like, truck of Madden money in front of his amazing. house. And now he's on the cover. <laughs> I think he said that last year. Maybe it was two years ago. Oh, my God. He looks awful. <laughs> they did not do that man justice. They look awful. What is this? Is this improved? And now we're going to get a stoppage. A member of the Cowboys this, this is the better character models. The medical staff checks that, that's step aside that, that's really the cool. more realistic looking character models. Wow. That poor guy. That sapien technology, man. Your, your, your arms turn into noodles. Uh, well, then I think something's wrong with their internal skeleton models because when my guys play, they fucking get injured constantly for no reason. And a stoppage here. We're gonna need to take a moment. What is with the character models, man? <laughs> oh, no, Seriously? What, the fuck was that? Yeah, <laughs> what? How? The injuries are just too much in the game. Why is it the same fucking animation every? You don't. You can't afford more than one injury animation in Madden. Every fucking play is an injury. This game is fucking broken. This game is so fucking buggy. Did, did Sapien Technology put their bones in the wrong places? Instead of... Injury timeout. Oh no, who's there? Right Jesus Christ, our whole fucking team. <laughs> I got another boo-boo. It will hurt. This was the make or break year. Said so by EA themselves. This year, EA has focused their marketing strategy on winning you back. They have referred to Madden 24 as a make or break game for the company. As the sole owners of the NFL simulation license since 2005, it is important that they get it right and they do as they say. Almost nothing about Madden NFL 24 is new or even improved. The game is a shallow, watered down, soulless cash grab. It shows zero respect or appreciation for the history of the sport it exclusively represents. It is missing over 60 features found in previous Madden titles. It is a glitchy, bug-filled mess, and it does a worse job at simulating NFL football than video games that are now over a decade old. Soft Drink TV rightfully calls them out and remembers what they falsely promised. It's a great review, go watch it after this. Madden games have all been so bad for so long that every year the latest Madden seems to be in the worst of all time conversation. So, did they deliver like they said they would? No, they didn't! F 
fuck no, I told your asses this would happen, and it happened. Again. Again. Just disable skill-based passing and uses the classic Madden passing controls. God damn it, Joe! You knew it's gonna God, happen. So the first screen is by a better edition than the edition that you get. Yes. The second fucking screen is unlock your goddamn mutt pack. Damn, I'm 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 as mad as this bitch right here. She mad as she mad like me. You hear it? We don't get your body back, yo, bitch. Next song, please. What is she saying? Next song, please. <laughs> <laughs> they did what they have always done for decades yet again. They removed some features and modes and put in a few sprinkles of new bits here and there, implemented the 2.0 patch from last year's Madden to make this game more stable since it's literally the same game with the same interface. Look at this interface. It's bare. What is this? This is a billion dollar franchise. Are we glitching here? What? Why does this interface up, look like little. shit? We're going like one frame a second on this interface. But I think that's actually how it just is. Who is their interface, guys? They did this shit in MS Paint. Fucking Fortnite looks better than this. And they slap a label and call it Madden 24. You just hit customize. Hit that X button. I'm, I'm hitting X, pressing Joe. The X button. I'm pressing <laughs> the X button. So you're telling me that the interface is lying. You cannot customize. So why put customize if you can't customize? That's a new feature. <laughs> Next what? year. Yeah, I don't. I don't understand. <laughs> Look, listen. This is a new feature. Yes, baby steps. They're going to customize. That's Man 2025. <laughs> they had to add the tab. They, they add the, ta they the add tab. The tab. This year. They add the interface <laughs> this year. Then next year, they'll implement the actual feature uh, halfway. Only now with horrendously laggy in game menus. Fucking game is hitching, Joe. What do you want me to do? Well, they just. I'm not going to get 2,000 yards when I'm throwing like this. Uh, they uh, just implemented uh, field sense uh, and uh, uh, they took all this new gen stuff to the PC, so it's gonna take some time. And maybe next year. Uh. 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 Are you fucking. Uh, PC is garbage. This is garbage. And that's if the servers aren't down like they were at launch. Great, so now I have to worry about that too. Why is the fucking menu struggling to load a shittily, a three polygon character model of my Cro-Magnon caveman football player that I can't make look like me walk around his aimlessly in a fucking apartment? You can't fucking render that without fucking stuttering? They made a bunch of bullshit marketing buzzwords for bullet points. Through improvements to the field sense gameplay system, a completely redesigned character skeleton, and enhancements to key areas of foundational football. In order to give the impression that they were adding these revolutionary features. But Joe, Madden is good this year because they brought back minicamp like you asked. This is a record. If you can get past that guy. <laughs> 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 gold, gold, Joe. Fear gold. <laughs> He's fifty-five. He can't see. Try again. He can't see. He's fifty-five. <laughs> and they put reps back on the field. Done. So for the first time ever for Next Gen, we brought in a real NFL referee, Ed Hockley most recognizable referee in the NFL. We recorded his audio, recorded his movements, facial animation, the whole deal. Everything is there from Ed, authentic. Sapien also unlocks our ability to respond to community feedback, like adding referees back to the field, and it's optimized for both male and female characters. Only what's the point in putting refs back on the field if they don't know how to fucking ref football? Defense was still trying to... No, don't you fucking...
this call, and it's certainly a big one here late in a tight game. That's the both. That's in. That's it. One, two. I got to say, watching it in real time, it was awfully close. This is look like a heck of a catch because he didn't appear to. That's not close. Do you know football? One, one two. Two, easy two. I just got fucked. Why didn't you let me hear the decision? Did he say it had been reversed? I don't know. It was very muffled and... I'm tired of gimmicks. I'm tired of the buzzwords. I want fundamental football mechanics to improve. This is a CPU controlled player with a perfect fucking tackle. Okay? He's also slow. But down. here's the thing is you'll see me select him, but by then it doesn't matter. The computer has not made a decision to do a tackle or anything. So he just literally gets sucked into an animation. That's the animation that it chose. Madden decided, all right, we're going to get sucked into a fuck if I know what oh, that God. is, <laughs> right? These animation-based scripted events are not cutting it. Enhancements to foundational football in key aspects of gameplay increase the authenticity of every play. The result is a better assessment of the playing field and defensive threats by ball carrier AI and more appropriate movement through the chaos of a play. What's worse is through all this bullshit I have to listen to some of the worst songs I've ever heard in my life! This is what I think of when I think of football. What's that was what? that's the song. Was she selling what was she selling gats out the back of her track? I don't know. At the back of it. it. I don't know. Shut up! Madden's music is fucking awful every year. No NFL films music. You know the songs that get you hyped to play fucking football? Nothing like that in this. Why can't they license those songs? They literally own the NFL license. <laughs> Don't they still have the ESPN license? What? ESPN? They have the ESPN license! That is what you did! With the ESPN license! You created an E avatar and you threw it in the text fucking news! I didn't think they had the EA license anymore because I remember they bought it like five years ago. Yeah. I'm like, Where's, what are you going to do with it? What are you going to do with the EA license? ESPN license right there! Oh, that was a player of the yeah. week performance right there. The loading screen, they suck! Yet, oh, yeah, there it is. More ultimate team advertisements. Literally, every time you launch the game, you get an ultimate team advertisement that forces you into the mode if you aren't paying attention. Because why? Because fuck you, give me money. That's why. What is this? Do you think this is mutt mode? Welcome to season. <laughs> God damn it. Fooled you, bitch. We Fooled you, to, bitch. You think you were season one of Madden? <laughs> <laughs> fuck no. Give us more money, you m motherfucking. Piece of shit, moron! <laughs> All these roads lead to mud mode. I All can't the get roads out. lead to mud mode. God <laughs> I can't damn. get out of here. Level thirty-four, DeAndre Hopkins. You don't want a level four. You want a level thirty-four. Welcome to season one. Unlock incredible rewards, you fucking pay pig. Complete objectives by opening your wallet and making your team even more exclusive and better than the last idiot who didn't spend enough money. When the season resets, you'll get nothing. Absolutely nothing! And still, creators continue to stay silent, afraid their access will be taken away by EA. Big thanks to EA for allowing me to capture this Madden 24 gameplay early. So once again, big thanks to EA for allowing me to capture this gameplay early. So big thanks to EA for allowing me to capture this gameplay early.
I have to give a huge thanks to EA for allowing me to capture this gameplay early. Let's get it! Early. Next Gen Madden is on PC this year with crossplay, right? Uh, only the PC performance was garbage for us. To me, and I believe it. Shoot for the stars or be conservative. What is with all of the fucking freezing? Why is it taking so long to load anything? And you know the crossplay? Uh, no crossplay for franchise mode. What? Crossplay? On PC, there actually is no crossplay in franchise. They said they couldn't get it ready for the launch of the game. So it'll come later, maybe. So you're advertising that you have crossplay, but you actually do not have full crossplay. So they're already coming. missing a feature, but they just released the game because it is time to release. And it doesn't matter if the game is done yet. We need to release the game. So, so, so just mutt mode. That, that's the crossplay mode. Weird. Huh. Weird that. Very, very funny. Interesting. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. How many fucking currencies is there, Joe? I got, got purple, purple I got blue. green, and I got fucking gold. And you got blue. Don't forget your blue. What is this shit? G orange? A hundred thousand for orange? Joe, that better not be ten dollars for orange. Wait 12? a minute. Wasn't there one that was twelve? I, I that a so. hundred dollars? Ninety dollars? So that other one? Didn't I see something for, for fucking a hundred dollars? Uh. Yeah, right there. Wait. Pass it right there. Oh my God, Joe! The fucking game is a hundred twenty dollars. The mother fucking Madden, and then you want another hundred fucking dollars? In fact, did you know you you can't play multiplayer franchise multiplayer? Yes, you heard that right. If you want to play classic multiplayer with your friends like we do every year, you need to make sure you're playing solo franchise. So in order to play with friends, you pick solo only. Don't let it confuse you. Offline solo only to play with friends. If you pick online play with friends, you may not play <laughs> with friends. I'm not joking. <laughs> no, no. That, that is literally the words. Online, play with friends or franchise fans, it even says. Play with friends or franchise fans. You may not play with friends or franchise fans unless you have your own copy of Madden, your own Xbox, at your own house. Which, uh, we don't. It's shit like this that's just stupid. Madden this year is broken down into Quick Play, Franchise, and Madden Ultimate Team. They got rid of the terrible Face the Franchise and replaced it with Superstar. A, you guessed it, old Madden feature returning from previous games. Only this year, you can't pick who you want to be. You're limited to just a few positions and only one of each at a time, okay? They even took out many the many useless bits that I gave them shit for last year. This year, the yard, it's gone. And they completely buried the Superstar KO mode under a bunch of menus hiding it. This year, they changed it a bit and made it 3v3, maybe as a reaction to us asking for something closer to NFL Street. Well, this ain't it, EA. Ooh, oh, you got beat. <laughs> what, Joe? You seen me? Are you serious? Probably spend money for that emote too. That was a dummy emote. That by the was way. garbage. Is that how the kids are dancing these days? This is what the fuck? My eyes are bleeding. This is football now. This is football, Joe. This ain't it. This is like an empty club, it's sad. <laughs> That's right. This is like an empty club. <laughs> like, let's get out of here. We had one drink. The sausage fest, man. Yeah, it's like one drink. Let's, let's get, get out, of out of here. The girls, they never came. Bro, they that is came. a perfect fucking explanation. <laughs> yeah, that shitty music, the shitty uh, speaker. <laughs> Everything just sounds muffled. It's like cringe when you walk into this club. Yeah, it's fucking empty. 
And honestly, why didn't they get rid of this useless crap mode too, like they did with the yard? Well, because they need a way to get you to buy microtransactions for your character. Light bright! Light bright, Joe! That's a good deal. $25! No, it's a deal right now. Oh, because I have Play Pro? $22? I'm gonna kill you, Joe. I'm gonna fucking kill you. It's a good deal. <laughs> Fuck you. So you can show off your gear online to others. Oh, three TDs? How much you pay to show your fucking abs? Hmm? So you telling me you didn't have fun in that mode? You don't want to buy any cool gear and show them? Hey. I'm gonna buy me this nice shirt. I never want to <laughs> fucking play that mode again. <laughs> yes. I got this nice shirt on my mom's credit card. <laughs> Do you like it? I'm gonna show it on the field. <laughs> Slow rain. Did they bother to add a new exciting mode to make up for taking out that shit that no one liked? Uh, did they add creative stuff like first person football, create a crib, or historic games like ESPN's 2K5's 25th anniversary mode? And number 17, NFL 2K5 allowed you to relive classic games in ESPN's 25th anniversary mode. This was one of the best modes that was worth anyone's playthrough, and it was included in the game to celebrate. ESPN took 25 scenarios from some of the most historic games ever played and turned them into replayable moments to either teach you about the game's history or allow the older generations to play out the moments they remember watching themselves. You know, one more reason to buy Madden this year? Did, did they do something to replace that? <laughs> No! Not a fucking chance! So cred the is the non-paid currency, or you can pay for celebrations. Fireball. You can't even give players celebrations... What's wrong with my arms? <laughs> what, what's, wrong, what's wrong with my arms? <laughs> it's his natural. It's not the T pose anymore. Are you fucking shitting me? How much is this? Fuck you, Madden. Celebrations. Do you remember? I'm not joking. 19 years ago, NFL 2K5, you could customize your celebrations. Yes. You, slot, you a find a, a huge list of celebrations. You choose what button slot you want your celebration in. People thought that it was great when Madden 19 introduced bigger and better celebrations for games, but many must have forgotten about NFL 2K5 and the ability to choose up to five custom celebrations. Ranging from the Cabbage Patch to Warren Samp's signature bounce dance, there were so many to choose from that you just never were able to keep the same five for more than a game or two. 2023 Madden is saying if you want these four celebrations, a fireball and the shuffle, then pay us $10 to get them. Oh, or 100,000 cred and we saw what was one level, 100 cred. No! Purchase recommended for No! <laughs> You can buy celebrations in fucking Madden regular season. I have to spend $5 so I can do this. You think they'd actively develop on this game? No, they actively just keep the ship from sinking. That's what you can expect from the Madden team. Though I'd argue they're, they're already a submarine game. You know why performance is so shitty? Because they're fucking using legacy code that they have no idea who fucking coded or made and they're fucking they're tacking onto it and pieces are breaking. This code is so fucking old. It needs to be thrown out. God damn it. You would think then that, okay, if you're not gonna put anything really new and, and, and then you'd take all that extra time and devote it to other areas of the game that, that are already there, like like pre-game, post-game, or, or a real halftime show this year? Let's see. Nope. 
It's no. a win for the Cowboys as we sign off. Log on to EA Sports.com. Uh, these are the plays that stuff happened. Thank you, game. Okay, uh, You're real great. All this fucking technology. Billions of dollars in this fucking game. And I can't even get a highlight for the highlights. Alex, I can't get a highlight for the highlights. I can't get a highlight for the highlights. Maybe it's uh, like philosophical where there is no highlights when you play. Um, it's fucking trash. Yeah. Exactly the same thing as last year. Now, this is from 19 years ago. Compare. 14 to 7. And now let's send you to Chris Berman in our studios in Bristol for the ESPN Halftime Report. Boomer? Aloha, I'm Chris Berman. And coming up on ESPN, 32 teams kick things off back in September, each having this game as their over goal. Look at our halftime stats here, and boy, look at the exciting game. start to this one right on the first play from scrimmage. Number 14 would drop back and deliver a strike on this one. Eagles midway through the first. Number 11 connected with his man on this one. Hell, even Madden 11 had the extra point show. Look at this. Had the extra point show. EA showed that they can make a decent halftime and postgame sequence with NBA Live 19. It's clear that EA is just half-assing it with Madden, simply coasting by on John Madden's legacy and the NFL brand recognition. This is effort, and this is not. This is completely lazy. They have the money to develop this game further. They just don't want to. It is a monopoly in every sense of the word. So presentation hasn't been touched in any significant way at all. It's dog shit. New season is here. Lions and Chiefs got it going on Thursday night. You and I were there. What a scene that was. But now here we so that's, are. That, that is the same fucking cutscene from two last time. Great expectations here to begin Do you want to continue playing? It's asking you. you Joe, too much. Joe, they it's didn't even let extent. the commentators finish the pregame. This game's going to be That's super. So cool. The presentation this year is garbage. They added a few shots and angles, but they took away some. They didn't bother. They, they literally removed stuff. They removed crowd celebrations. Super fans, they're gone. What happened to next-gen stats? I, I thought that was going to revolutionize Madden. The, the trackers they had in their pads, is that not a, re, enough for realistic movement? Well, well, clearly all that shit was a lie. They've added one, one thing. Red and black Sunday night football graphics. Wow! It took you this long? Time for Dak Prescott and the Dallas offense to go to work. Sunday Dallas night prime time. So they did. I think this is new, chat. There is a difference in the graphics for Sunday night versus normal play. Okay, Madden. Okay. That's the kind of stuff I'm talking about. But you need to do way more, way more of it. We're going to start with a run. Making it seem like there's different flavors of football broadcast. E even, even just this hilariously small addition helps a tiny bit, actually. And if they took a year to focus on this stuff, it would do wonders. Imagine if they blew this part of the game up. Multiple commentators for different time slots, different graphics and, and shows and highlights for each football night, uh, Monday night, Sunday night, Thursday afternoon games night game shit like that no oh my god the same fucking commentary team as last year in the last seven years no it's the same shit the same commentators repeating the same lines for the past seven years eight years of the same commentators makes the game feel exactly the same saying the same lines so fucking old and stale from the same commentary team we've had for the past seven fucking years they do one good thing addition and that's enough for them for five fucking years on next gen and you know what it's been the same thing for 13 years if you're still playing the old next gen madden by the way don't buy the old madden 
that's, they li just literally pretend it doesn't exist. You'd be getting better value for your money by literally burning it at a campfire for warmth in the cold. The Super Bowl game, it's exactly the same on in that old gen. And, and that's 10 years in a row now. 10 years in a row. And next gen, you guessed it, the exact fucking same as last year. And the New York Jets have won the Super Bowl. And the Lombardi Trophy will be in the Big Apple. And to the Super Bowl champions, they etch their name forever in NFL immortality. That's pretty phenomenal right there. It actually gave me chills just to hear you <laughs> say that because immortality forever and ever. When you look in the record books, you'll see this team, you'll see their picture, that your name will be a part of it. That's got to be an incredible feeling because it's been a long journey to get there, and now they get a chance to enjoy it. Did you think that we would forget? They can't be bothered to make unique and exciting Super Bowls for their yearly roster update. Why? Why is there no sound with these exciting fireworks and air cannons? Headed by EA Sports. Tonight, it is all on the line. We play for the Lombardi Trophy as it'll be the AFC champion, New York Jets. It's exactly the same halftime report, even shorter this year. All these years, I asked you last year what you do with your halftime show. Let's check the halftime show. Did you make this an MS Paint? Is the engine not capable of showing us the highlights from the other games? That's all I've been asking. That was in the game 22 years ago. I'm sorry, 19 years ago. NFL 2K5. NFL 2K5 did it 19 years ago, and you still can't do it. This shit makes me so fucking mad. It shows how blatantly lazy they are with their game. What the fuck do they do every year for Madden during all those months in development? Why do they turn all the sound off What during what should be your most amazing highlights of the Super Bowl at the end? Still, after all these years, it can't hold up to a 19-year-old game. And there is our Super Bowl MVP. Oh, and you deserved it, Dan. What a performance. And you know, Dan, that is such a great feeling. Let the party begin, baby. And there it is. It's official. Well, that wraps it up for this year, Peter O'Keefe, along with me, Dan Stevens. See you all next year. Sidelines still look awful with generic ass players. It's like, yeah, we're over here, buddy. Buddy, turn, we're, we're this way. They, they, they don't react, they still don't react like they should. <gasps> no way! Oh! He got out with one. We got one chance. Hey, look at the sidelines. There's no reaction from anybody as I break it. In fact, they look disappointed. <laughs> They're like, oh, man. Break away for a touchdown? That's how, not exciting. How did, you, how did you break away for a touchdown? Come on. Vince. He's got turbo boosters on, and you don't. And what's weird is the Giants are really excited about me. This this guy in particular, mm -hmm. he's like, oh, I love the rain. The rain is amazing. And yay, I have no idea what's happening back here. It, yay. Yay. He, yay, the Cowboys broke one. We didn't who. Did you know that the New York Giants are actually secretly Cowboy fans? Mm-hmm. They really want us to succeed whenever we can. 
so they're, they're making small improvements here and there so it's like they're doing half effort <laughs> they're doing half effort really got to fix some of these models like here so like number 63 looks good and then you got number 56 right next to him and number 42 the motherfucker Barry Church is not on our team anymore like who is that and he's like tiny he's like out of scale it's like when you mix is Warhammer models so what about franchise mode that I care the most about lazy again Madden. <laughs> it's still missing 63 features found in previous titles. It's still the same menus, now barely even running, constant freezing and lagging. It's a chore week in and week out to simply get through the game's menus. There's no more college football game. That's removed. You're getting less for more because by NCAA, they added extra training slots. Oh, so you caught up with other sports games with six assets at once. But scouting still sucks. They added back training camp, mini games, after 12 years of them being absent. Target passing is fun, and it can contribute to towards improving your quarterback play and feeling like you're actually in control of progressing your character. I like some of these. But others are boring and pointless, and you can tell they rushed it because the mini camp implementation, because it's all over the place. There are huge oversights to the damn thing, missing drills. Which mini game available? No drills available. Who's lying? Are they lying? <laughs> or is this screen lying? Can they not get their own interface right? Mini game available. A. No drills available. No mini games are available. Okay, fine. We'll go to the next one. Mini game available. Oh, mini game available. Okay, okay. Let's go down here. Mini game available. Okay, mini game available. This is Zach Martin. It's Zach Martin. So it's the Sapien it's technology. The they knew he was holding out. Yeah. <laughs> They're like, no, no, Zach Martin's like, you wanted Hold to restructure his contract? Just restructure the contract. Man, fucking Sapien technology. No, no drills available. There's a new ability to relocate your team immediately. But for the customization for this section, it sucks ass. Ass. Joe, okay. I already raised about that. Fuck! Fuck, I can't even choose my own goddamn colors. I have to choose the most fucking generic ass piece of shit teams that have been in the game for the past 10 years. The one good time they say, okay, you know what? We'll let you relocate whenever you want. Can we create a team? No, you can't create a team. You have to use our piece of shit teams. Well, at least Why? We, at least we could choose Because we don't have any time to do that. We literally barely have enough time to copy and paste every year. You want us to fucking put in an, a create a team when we allow you to create your own team? Are you fucking stupid? You want us to give you a create a team when you create your own fucking team? What are you, stupid or something? You can't, yet again, yet another year, you cannot create your own team. This guy's still waiting. Why I think 95% sure create a team will finally be coming back to the Madden franchise game mode in Madden 23. Yes, not Madden 22, Madden 23. Now explain completely. I, I wonder if he's predicting, it'll be next year's, it'll be next year's. I mean, this is nothing confirmed, but I'd literally be willing to bet like thousands of dollars that we have some sort of creative team because it's been something we've been asking for for so long there is no creative fan there's no creating tattoos none of the stuff that we've had in previous games how about faces uh, uh, is it still the same 10 faces in the game no someone at ea's madden finally watched the angry joe show and said okay joe <laughs> You want to you wanna make fun of us every year for having eight faces? How about 237? So Leon Lett is coming out of retirement. That's Booger. That's Booger right there. <laughs> no, that's Big Juicy. Like, who comes up with these faces? A random, like, they just you have a bunch of sliders and they hit the RNG button over and over. Yeah, but just, they, why can't we just make her face? Because. <laughs> that does not even look like him. That does not even look like him. <laughs> yeah. It's like, sir, this is a fake ID. <laughs> <laughs> Got in the picture, looks like you're 19. You look like you're 90. <laughs>
That's DJ Cali. We established it Where's last DJ time. DJ Cali. Where are you? Yeah. <laughs> Another one. <laughs> Another one. That's Alex. <laughs> That's me. <laughs> Motherfucker's old. There's Joe. <laughs> no way. Joe, you should have picked this hey, guy. That's horrible. You guys. <laughs> What is wrong? Joe, oh that's my God. Joe! Joe! You're saying that you looks like me? That's this fucked one. up. No, you should pick this one because it's funny. If you're going to pick a funny like one, me. go with this one. Like he's going to rock to rob a convenience store. Yeah. <laughs> Why does he have a pantyhose on his head by default? <laughs> what is going on, man? They did, forgot to texturize this guy. Four billion Holy fucking fuck! Dollars. You can do Only they continue to be oh some of the goodness. worst faces in a game I have ever seen ever look at this shit Joe they're fucking terrible tell faces. me the difference between these fucking faces it's the same fucking face yes. they're the same fucking faces over and over don't you try to fucking trick me this is the same fucking face what is happening Joe 108 and 112 they're not even the same fucking Guy, the, the picture is. Oh! <laughs> Joe! <laughs> this is a rookie. Joe! He's a rookie. You don't know about this guy? <laughs> His name is Julian. He's only 19. But he smokes like 30 packs a day. <laughs> uh, Joe, I can't, I can't with this. Madden. Madden. Madden, man. This is. You've been garbage. in the league for 43 years. <laughs> how? How? After. Why, after all these years, can I not, like, pick DJ my own Kelly. guy? Like, what is They said, all right, Angry Joe, you want to make fun of us for ten, eight faces uh, all these years in a row? We're going to spam you with so many pre-gen faces that not a goddamn person would pick in real life <laughs> no, no that one. you can no longer complain about there being eight faces in Madden. We're going to give you 262. Madden, you stupid motherfucker. It, it wasn't about having quantity of faces it was never about me me complaining about there only being eight faces every year was not okay well how about 242 no it you don't put low quality 242 faces that somebody would have to take 15 hours to go through and notice that none of them look like actual human beings not a goddamn one! Bro, nobody looks like this in real life. And I, I'm... <laughs> that one guy, that's me. I, you better not. You better not, Chad. You better not. That's, that that's looks exactly like me. Uh, that man is great this year. We are still using two separate old legacy character creators. One for the franchise, this, this garbage fake quantity over quality, and then a completely separate system for the superstar mode that replaces face of the franchise because they don't know how to do anything. And let's talk about that. The face of the franchise mode is now superstar. Superstar mode is back. So we're going backwards. We're just giving up on face of the franchise. Just forget it. Yep. Yeah, well. Instead of improving it to rival a story mode like in NHL 23 with the little coach goals and, and other cool shit or F1 2023, yet another EA game that does this far better with an engaging narrative. No, they said, nah, fuck it. We went back to a couple of stiff cutscenes that the B team made and quiet, awkward interview bits be between games. Combine interview. The media wants to test my NFL knowledge. <laughs> Uh, Alex, can you help me? <laughs> Is this a quiz? Wait. So you're telling me Baldur's Gate can voice every single fucking character in the game, including NPCs. They only have four. Including cats! Random cats! And a billion dollar biggest game for EA cannot voice their fucking main character agent. Your agent cannot be voiced. The Madden cast is the small effort they were willing to do for the mode, but they hid it in some small Twitter copy cat sidebar. <sighs> I mean, this Twitter's too nice. <laughs> Where are the mean comments? Where are the mean comments? <laughs> 
Cap is overrated. That sucks. Where's the, where's the racism <laughs> and the fucking sexism <laughs> and, and the fucking disgusting underbelly of the internet? I think one of the biggest and best Yo! additions is I can play uh, for like 15 minutes in the combine. I actually like the combine. Great job. Even after a junior Lip sync is off. passing yards. 50 total touchdowns and over but 600 I like, I, yards on the ground. I'll there give are still him, some scouts who question whether I'll Captain give him the Dave combine, okay? I like it when the game makes an effort to do... No, you got fucking slow as hell. That's pretty good, right? <laughs> Fuck you, Joe. Why are you so good at these mini games? I want you to get first place, Joe. I actually like the combine. This I'm, I'm going to be... Hey, man. We give Madden shit. We also give Madden... Like... What, but what's funny is it's, this was in it, Madden like 10 years ago, yes. wasn't it? I remember doing this long time ago. I can't, just the whole cycle of taking shit out, putting it back in, and wanting to be commended for it is bullshit. Only I couldn't get my guy to look the way I wanted. Oh my God, I look like a crow Maxman. <laughs> <laughs> Me play football. Me, me football. <laughs> me football now. You know football. <laughs> me football. <laughs> what he's trying to say, he's a superstar. Me football. No, he's you football. He's a superstar. I'm a superstar. All right, so he wants a bigger paycheck. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> they need to bring back Game Face or build an actual character creator and consolidate these two systems. One that's worth a damn. Can I be a Mexican? Can I be a Puerto Rican? Joe, can I be a white guy? Joe, where? Kind. Joe, is this mad and racist? <laughs> Joe, where? Where is my color, Joe? You're telling me I'm a goddamn superstar. Well, these people go outside. Where is my color? Pay. Okay, no, I guess this is my color. <laughs> is this my color, Joe? It, yeah, if you went outside. If I went outside. <laughs> these people work outside. <laughs> Everybody works outside. I want the pale. Mu I want. There's no vampires. I want pink in my face and pale. <laughs> Careful with the beer. <laughs> That's a precious one. Joe, I can't. I can't. I can't even be I'm, my race in Madden. I'm kind of curious to see what they have in the other one, too. I, I cannot be I don't think a fucking you know. Puerto Rican football player. They've crushed my dreams. Do you, Joe, do you remember? Like, yeah, it was like I, eight years ago, Joe. You yes. can make your own face in Madden. You scan your own face and you put it in Madden. You remember that? That was at Tiger Woods 2008. 20 years ago <laughs> when your entire mode fails at what it is designed to do you are shit suck my balls madden but you know giving up on face of the franchise and in a story mode is such a madden thing to do uh likely they did it to better integrate with the upcoming ncaa right move your player between that game and this mode uh, but it's really because it's less work for them every year. They, they don't have to do a compelling storyline thing anymore. Nobody cares. So, what about gameplay, right? By sheer virtue of it being essentially a patch for the disastrous Madden 23, it runs by definition slightly better. So I'll give it that. On the field, it feels slightly better than the disaster that was last year, but that still doesn't mean much. Run blocking AI is a bit better because of this. I like running. I gotta give it to him on that one. Yeah, only thing you can justify it with. Oh, that was actually fun. I was having fun in Madden. There was two seconds I was having fun, Alex. What? 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 Slippery went wet, man. Slippery went wet. I, I will give them, I'm seeing small improvements to movement here and there, but then BAM! Every fifth or sixth play, you get some shit like this. Did you fucking super glue the fucking ball to your hand? There's no fucking way it's fucking raining! It's fucking raining. Are you telling me your two fucking fingers? You super glue. Ref! You're standing right there, ref! You're in the game this year! You didn't see that shit? There's no fucking way you hold on to that fucking ball. I mean, we have. Wait a minute! Wait a minute! You brought the ball through my arm! 
That is a, you're fucking cheating! I'm so sick and tired of these animation-based fucking bullshit. It immediately determined. Oh, well, well, nope, he did not fumble. I say he did not fumble, says the AI, and they will do whatever fuck Tom fuckery foolery they need. A sapien glue. <laughs> that is sapien technology. Everyone look at the sapien technology. Did you know that if you tried really hard, I could phase through Alex's arms? All I have to do is try really hard, and then it'll happen. It's going for physics, man. Sapien. Blockers are still acting like dumbasses, and the defense is incapable of handling easily exploitable things. It feels like throwing on the run leads to more accurate passes than staying in the pocket. Pass rushing is broken. They, they don't set the edge. They don't QB contain. There is still a ways to go. May, maybe in Madden 25. You know, maybe in tw Madden 25, they'll have the patch for Madden 22 ready. Huh? All right, we're gonna toss it to the right. Let's see. Go to that other screen. Yes, sir. You see, right there, red, it's bad. Where's red? So going square? that red, it would be bad. Yeah. So it's and looking, this, it's, you see this? What yeah, is this? I don't know. It's fucking like annoying. so, like I'm not supposed, I'm not supposed to watch my own route. Like, is there another button that I can press for the route? That doesn't make, like, how can you get that something so basic wrong? A lot of the marketing did say that they improved the way things look here and there, like the graphics, and I, I, I guess. I guess they're slightly better. Can be such a uh, weapon for them what? You wouldn't even let me select the guy. What the fuck? Ooh, that's going. So that's something, I guess. But what's crazy to me is what ends up being the greatest addition of Madden, in my opinion, is such a tiny thing. It's a small touch. Three rushes, 32 yards. Yeah, baby. The fucking steamers. Hey, get off! Hey, fuck you! And, and it's because I'm so starved for life. Uh, and, and this actually uh, impacted my opinion way bigger than I thought. It actually makes Madden look good for once. We were doing so well. And uh, Joe Vargas fucked it up. <laughs> Welcome to the NFL, bitch. We can't tackle. <laughs> so we can't. We can't throw, we can't tack. Get off me. I like there's a lot more, there, there seems to be a lot more jarring going on. The players, they interact with each other a little more on the field in this year's version. They'll pat each other on the backs, they'll dance with each other, they'll do some squabbling and pushing. There's far more team involvement on things going on after a play. I deserve that. I deserved it. I, I knew it was coming. I knew it was coming. I threw the pick. It's my fault. Whereas in previous years, uh, a Madden play would end and you're, it was only your player that would go wild and everybody would walk away like robots, you know, in the background. That, that doesn't happen anymore. And the game feels and looks better for it. If only they did a lot more of that kind of stuff to the rest of the game to bring it back to fucking life. Here's a first and ten. Boom! Got it! Got it! Got it. Let's go! Defense! I told you I believe in the defense. It's two bolt triggers. Oh! It was! It was! It's whole bolt triggers. Press X. Use a pick, baby. That's how we'll do it. We'll just win games with the fucking defense. <laughs> Finally, that brings us to mutt mode. People have stopped caring because they know already what this has become. A pack-busting simulator for morons and people who watch morons. One thousand dollars to spend on Madden 24 packs. Those platinum players at high overalls are worth a lot. Hey, let's go! Razul and, oh shit. For the few of us left that are hoping for significant improvements and additions to Madden, no, we've got such slim hope because of this mode. There's literally no incentive anymore for them to do anything. Is this is this the shit that the fucking Madden so channels do? So, yeah, yes. Where that guy was like, Oh, oh, oh we got Cordell Oh, we got Cordell Bell! Whoa, what the fuck is that? 
What is that? Oh! <laughs> Who else are we getting? <laughs> I got going to hell. <laughs> Only guys I've ever seen. Ooh. 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 Oh my god, I know it's not that crazy of a vote, but you know Pacheco's gonna be disgusting in Madden this year. Hopefully we get Bobby Boucher next. I'll get Bobby I mean, Boucher. Bobby Boucher, 99. Oh, fuck. Oh, we got Bobby Boucher. <laughs> he men. Ooh. Oh, my God. No shot. God, I just pulled it in my Oh, my God. You're kidding. Bro, does this not look broken? It doesn't even look fucking hype. Look, I go over it. You couldn't even bother for the animation! The light! It's like frame dropping, Joe! It looks like garbage! This is like two... Three... F oh, get, get the fuck out of my here! What blows me away is now how lazy they're getting in their own mutt mode, their feature mode that makes them money. The interface is so laggy, so lackluster, that even your dick riders are starting to question your ass. I don't want to get my hopes up, but the game is running a lot more smoothly. God, Madden, what the fuck is up with this, man? This is an Xbox Series X. You got no excuses for this. Watch what happens when I click X to go to Field Pass. Just watch the lag on this. Justin Fields slowly dissipates into a ghost. Three seconds later, you've got Laramie Tunzel. I don't want to get my hopes up, but the game is running a lot more smoothly. But don't think he's had a, a change of heart. That was just a momentary lapse in, in judgment, in good judgment. Who's going to be the first big pull of Madden 24? We get Ryan Neal here and David Edwards. So I'll take it. That pack animation goes kind of hard, man. I like this. I like this black theme, though. Cedric. That, that pack animation goes goes hard that pack animation goes kind of hard man i like this i like that pack animation goes hard that pack animation goes kind of hard man i like this i like this fuck stop lying to people i'm going to throw myself out a window it's always fun to see what the new pack animation is too. So why don't we start out right here? 80 overall. That's the core elite animation. I really like this black background. That's kind of fire. I like that. Animation's mid. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna suck the soul out of its cock. I'll take it. That pack animation goes kind of hard, man. I like this. I like this black theme though. Cedric in similar animation to last year. That's kind of lazy. EA take it. That pack animation goes kind of hard, man. I like this. I like. Fuck me, EA. Okay, I'll, fi I'll finish, I'll finish. <laughs> this is a mode designed from the ground up to spend money, to, to, to improve more easily your team, <laughs> and spending more money on top of the 70 or the $100 deluxe edition. I'm not even joking when I say even Mutt Mode is nearly a copy and paste from last year. I'm actually fucking shocked at how brazen this is. Like, what the fuck are they doing all year? Seriously. Like, it's crazy how they have their jobs. And Mutt Mode is still successful because of how addicting Mutt is. Just like, you know, for people. It's like it's like a, a gambling simulator. Which, you know, people get addicted to. Love playing that stuff. And so, like, and then Mutt Mode obviously adds the gambling. Adds the um, things on top of it that people are addicted to. Like, team building, assembling, card collecting, that kind of stuff. And I think they've just overall done a poor job the last three to, year, three to four years doing anything on top of what we already had other than reassembling the menus almost on a, on a yearly basis. And I have no idea why they do that. <laughs> so if they're not even buffing this mode up and going crazy, then what the fuck are they doing all year? There are reports of people constantly disconnecting and still getting coins for it. They're getting fucked online. Even their own mutt players, they're even ignoring their own mutt players. It was nothing we asked for. They changed the UI again, but they didn't make it faster. The menus are as leggy as ever. They added something that's literally got almost zero use and is a negative addition to the game because it takes longer once you're in your binder. 
once you're in your binder to look at the auction house by hitting up on the joystick. They've literally added something that nobody asked for, nobody wanted, and is a detriment to the game. Versus the things that we actually need in this game, formation, subs, like Franchise has, custom audible saving game to game, and many other things that we've asked for over the years. What are they doing then? If they're not be- what? Wow. Love this sound. Boop, 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 boop. Yeah, when I move to the next card. <laughs> <laughs> and, and and if you listen real close, there's like a zzz. It's very silent. So wait a minute, wait a minute. So now the only way to get Hall of Fame players is to fucking buy the Mutt Packs. So that that's how much edition, fucking respect you have for football. Like I can't even put together like the undefeated Dolphins team. I can't like fuck in the, the 84 the Bears. Team. Everything. I have to bust packs to try to get DeMarcus Ware and, and put him on my team. Fuck you, Madden. After all the money they've made on Madden since then, think about it. Madden's revenue is estimated at $600 million annually. Seven billion since 2021. So what are we at? What are we at, like 10, nine or $10 billion? That's peak male performance right there. <laughs> Joe, you look it. like a fucking... Uh, hey, you look like Tony from like a fucking Sopranos or something. What do you look... You look like a Brooklyn pizza maker. <laughs> you, you look... That's the face You they look like chose. a taxi cab guy. That's Joe, the make a face that looks like you. Bro, none of these fucking faces look anything like me. They, they all Chat. look like trash. They all look like fucking trash. And this is the best that they can come up with? I'm sorry. E everyone can see how minimum, uh, how, how lazy effort and, and how just, no, fuck it. I, no, I'm, I'm done. The final verdict for Madden 24, after all is said and done, after all the small additions, and then after all the small subtractions, uh, all of these expectations in a self-admitted make or break year, it's gonna be a three out of 10. It's not a step forward like it should be. It's better than the dumpster fire Madden 23, yes. So, so I guess it's not a step back. I guess I, I could say it's a, it, uh, it's, it's a sidestep. We're sidestepping here. What? And it was the visiting Carolina Panthers who were victorious in that one. Madden, I'll give you two points. If next year you turn this into highlights, if you put effort into the halftime highlight show instead of just text and PowerPoint MS Paint fucking effort and graphics, I'll give you two points. It's a limited time offer. And like they did an NFL 2K5 19 years ago. 19 years ago is what I'm asking for. If you give me something that we had two decades ago, I'll give you two points, okay. one for each decade. I already know what Madden 25 is gonna be like. It already came out. And I already know how Madden 26 is gonna go. I have no hope for Madden until they're forced to rebuild on a new engine. Maybe something can come with PlayStation 6 or Xbox Next. But I am tired of getting burned. I'm, and, and I actually already got burned on waiting for a next console generation with Madden 08. And even these next gen Maddens. I'm done. I'm done with Madden. Don't support this game. EA is happy with the same bullshit all the time. And L, if that's what they're happy with and that's what their customers want, fuck them. I really like this black background. That's kind of fire. I like that. They deserve each other. Ah, no. Similar animation to last year. That's kind of lazy, EA. Do not ask me about Madden 25. You know what the fucking answer is. You know what it's going to be like. And Madden 26 and 27. And I always... No. 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 I'll see you guys on the next Angry Joe show. No. I'm gonna go play Starfield now. Don't expect me to finish that anytime soon. I'm gonna go have some fun. I've earned it.
I don't want to get my hopes up, but the game is running a lot more smoothly. Fuck me, EA!